So they have a tour guide. He takes you around, shows you the battlefield, gives you a little bit of the history. Wow. How far is Gettysburg? I'd like to go there. About three hours. Tommy, you're on. Gotta go. Have a good set. What'd they do for toilet paper in the Civil War? <laughs> Toilet paper was like in the 1860s. Did they, did they carry it in rolls in their duffel bags? What do you think when you comes down a toilet paper? <laughs> what? That's always the first question with you. Why is that always your focus? All right, then what did they do? I don't know. Maybe they gave out big loose clumps to all the soldiers. <laughs> well, I think it would be nice if there was some sort of historical record of it. Maybe they should have a toilet paper museum. Would you like that? <laughs> so we could see all the toilet paper advancements down through the ages. Toilet paper during the Crusades. The development of the preparation. The first six-pack. Excuse me, Jerry? I'm Stu Chermack. I'm from NBC. Oh. Uh, could we speak for a few moments? Sure, sure. Hi, Hi Jay Crespi. Hello. Uh, C-R-E-S-P-I. That's right. I'm unbelievable at spelling last names. Give, give me a last name. Uh, I'm not sure. Really? Huh? All right. <laughs> First of all, that was a terrific show. Oh, thank you very much. And, and basically, I just wanted to let you know that we've been discussing you at some of our meetings, and we'd be very interested in doing something. Really? Wow. So if you had an idea for, like, a, a TV show for yourself, well, we just love to talk about it. I'd be very interested in something like that. Well, here, uh, why don't you give us a call and maybe we can uh, develop a series. Okay, great. Thanks. It was very nice meeting you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. What was that all about? They said they were interested in me. For what? You know, TV show. Your own show? Yeah, I guess so. They want you to do a TV show? <laughs> well, they want me to come up with an idea. I mean, I don't have any ideas. Come on, how hard is that? Look at all the junk that's on TV. <laughs> all right, you want an idea? Here's an idea. You coach a gymnastics team in high school, and you're married, and your son is not interested in gymnastics, and you're pushing him into gymnastics. Why should I care if my son's into gymnastics? You're the gymnastics teacher. It's only natural. But gymnastics is not for everybody. I know, but he's your son. So what? <laughs> All right, forget that idea. It's not for you. Okay, 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 I got it. You run an antique store. Yeah, and? And, and people come into the store and you will get involved in their lives. What person who runs an antique store gets involved in people's lives? Why not? So someone comes in to buy an old lamp, and suddenly I'm getting them out of a jam. <laughs> I could see if I was a pharmacist, because a pharmacist knows what's wrong with everybody that comes in. No, but antiques are very popular right now. No, they're not. They used to be. Oh, sure, like you know. Oh, like you do. And you're the manager of the circus. <laughs> the circus? Oh, come on, this is a great idea. I mean, look at the characters. You got all these freaks in the show. A woman with a mustache? I mean, who wouldn't tune in to see a woman with a mustache? You got the tallest man in the world, a guy who's just a head? <laughs> I don't think so. Look, Jerry, the show isn't about the circus. It's about watching freaks. I don't think the network will go for it. Why not? Look, I'm not pitching a show about freaks. Oh, come on, Jerry, you're wrong. People, they want to watch freaks. This is a can't miss. Kramer. Hello, Newman. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I got the helmet. Go get the radar detector. Oh, okay, all right. all right. I'll be back in a sec. Hey, you guys coming to my party? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> What's this all about? Uh, we're making a trade. I'm giving him my motorcycle helmet. He's giving me his uh, radar detector. I didn't know you have a motorcycle. Well, my girlfriend had one. You have a girlfriend? I had a girlfriend. <laughs> and she was pretty wild. <laughs> I don't remember you with a girl. Nevertheless. <laughs> This is a pretty bad deal for Kramer. You know, a radar detector's worth much more than that helmet. I think you're cheating him. Don't say anything. All right. <laughs> hey, you know you're getting gypped over here. Really? <laughs> huh. Hey, we had a deal. Are you reneging out of the deal? Are you reneging? That's a reneging. Oh, stop saying reneging. Well, you're reneging. I... OK, OK, I'm not reneging. All right, give it to me. All right, let go. Let go. All right. <laughs> 